Hello everyone, this is Felicia Bender of The Practical Numerologist. What we are going to dig into today are the personal years. So we're looking at the one personal year uh, in numerology. So if you do not know what the personal year is, well, I figure you want to know more because you're here, right? <laughs> so with that said, I'm not going to go into all the explanations about the personal year itself. I want to just get right into the nuts and bolts. Okay. So if you are unsure about your personal year, uh, please look at the notes in the description box. Also, there are two different schools of thought about the personal year, how it shows up. I will put that information uh, below as well, but I just want to get I want to get down and dirty and uh, talk with you exactly about what to expect during the one personal year and what to and how to understand it, how to optimize it. Because in numerology, we have to understand that we believe that there are um, cycles of time that we go through. The personal year cycle is one of those. It is the most immediate energy that we're feeling and also the most immediate energy that is supporting us uh, in our year. So it's really a good thing to look at it that way, that this is what we've got at our disposal. We've got this uh, just aching to help us optimize uh, our, our biggest successes for each given year around these themes, right? So well, let's go right into the one personal year. If you are in your one personal year, it is the beginning of a brand new cycle. I hope you're feeling it. Hope you're feeling it. <laughs> after last year, right? Uh, we'll talk about the, you can watch the video on the nine personal year if you want to know what that was all about. And yet the one personal year is all about new beginnings. It's about planting seeds to uh, for what you want to see grow, bloom, and blossom in the next nine-year cycle. So I always look at it in terms of uh, what the questions are, right? What is the primary question that we're asking ourselves or that we're being asked during a personal year? So the, the question is uh, for the one, what do I want to see grow and blossom in the next nine years? What can I start? What can I initiate? The goal here is to stand on your own two feet as you begin this entirely new chapter in your life. And one of the key themes is going to be all the key themes of the number one, which is independence, individuality, originality, initiating things, pioneering, being courageous, really extracting yourself from whatever dependencies that you might find that you're engaged in with you in your life and that can be across the board right it really is a a, a high power year marked by your determination and your initiative so what i would say and if we if we put it into two columns here which i have in the visual uh the infographic here on your screen we've got the bring it on we got the bring it on um a column <laughs> And that is really what you're being supported with is your creativity, your outside of the box thinking, uh, your leadership capabilities. This could be a time where you get a new job, where you start a new company, where you really engage in a new creative project, uh, where you start a new relationship. Anything about the starts and the beginnings is going to be emphasized in a one personal year. It's about tapping into your confidence. So if you are lacking in some, some self-esteem in some areas, this year is going to bring you opportunities, right? We're always going to be uh, ushered in with opportunities for growth in these key areas. So if that's something that you are needing, uh, you know, a certain level of growth in, you're going to get some experiences that are going to test you, that are going to challenge you, that are going to uh, ask you to really tap into that sense of independence to not only kind of the one when you're dealing with the one energy, it's kind of that um, vibe that a lot of people who are ones or have ones in their chart, they can, it's kind of like they can get by on good looks and a smile and a good idea, right? Uh, for a long period of time. And that is kind of the energy of this year. And yet it's really asking you to dig a little deeper to, um, to master certain 
fallback skills, talents that can really bolster you uh, as you take some risks this year. So it is a risk taking year. It is a time to really align with your ambition. What are your ambitions for your life, right? This is going to be a little bit more of a, well, hopefully a lot more of a clear slate for you after last year, which was all about clearing it out, right? Clearing out the gook, clearing out the closets, cleaning up the clutter, uh, anything else that would stand in the way of you really aligning much more authentically with who you are and what your true ambition is. This is your year to stand up for yourself, to trust and use those skills and brush up on those skill sets, whether it's in business, whether it's relationship tools, uh, all of those things that uh, will come up to play for you in a one personal year. It's a time to open to healthy expressions of love, more again, co-creating, more understanding the give and take of a healthy relationship. Those things will come into play in a one personal year. It's also a time somewhat oxymoronically and yet not really for you to uh, learn to support others even as you are um, I don't know, forging ahead, taking the lead, making your ideas uh, stand strong and fly. You also, the best leaders in the world will tell you that uh, they are only successful because of their team, <laughs> because of who they have surrounding them, who supports them and how they reciprocate uh, in that in that interplay, in the back and forth. And it's a time also for, for keeping the peace in that way, for really learning those um, powerful leadership skills, all right? What you can expect on column two, so there are some expectations that might be challenging, right? These are the challenge points. These uh, are what might come in to, to tweak you a little bit, okay? And that can be doubt. Uh, it can be tunnel vision where you're not. The thing about the one is the one needs to, yes, be independent, fry, fly their own freak flag. <laughs> I also say that the one, when you're in that energy, it's asking you to be productive productively disruptive in some way, whatever you want to move forward. Again, it's more of a visionary period of time that you're dealing with right now. Um, and yet tunnel vision uh, will get you nowhere, right? And it's really asking you, the energy of the year is asking you to open up uh, and actually take maybe constructive criticism, maybe actually draw in some other uh, support systems, some experts, some other ways of understanding an issue, right? Because when we get, you know how that is, when we get too hyper-focused on our way or the highway, or just this is the way I've always done it, even though it's never worked, <laughs> all of those uh, thought, thought, um, you know, uh, mindsets is what I'm trying to say, uh, are going to be up for grabs this year. It's a time of stops and starts. It's not going to be this linear pathway that where you're like, you know, day one in your one personal year, you're going to go, oh, Eureka, I know exactly what I want to do and exactly how to do it. No, it takes the entire 12 months of this personal year for you to really um, make those determinations, make them um, with the longer range goals in mind without being impulsive, um, really having that more seriousness about what you're, what you're putting into place right now. It's also a time where it's really important to be pretty persnickety, persnickety, <laughs> persnickety, <-be. laughs> uh, that was an interesting kind of convergence of words there. Uh, persnickety is what I was attempting to say um, about who you draw into your into your life and into your world. Um, last year, some things, some people, some places, some stuff probably made an exit. So it's time to uh, be pretty choosy about what you bring in and and in terms of people, experiences, things, all of it. 
because it is setting the groundwork again for what you're going to be doing in this next cycle. It's a time to co-create. It's a time to appreciate others. It's a time to banish your inner victim. That's a big one in a one personal year. It's a time to really stand up and be and be seen and heard. It's a time to be assertive, uh, not aggressive, but assertive. And it's time to balance the ego. So the one is all about number one. And uh, in the extreme, the one can kind of usher in a bit of narcissism. So it's really important to be aware of attempting to stand up, stand strong, be assertive, uh, assert yourself, and yet also not dip over into being totally self-serving, self-centered, or self-absorbed. So it's, again, time to balance that ego or harmonize the ego. And it is a year of creative problem solving. So overall, the one personal year is all about new beginnings, planting seeds. It's all about asserting yourself and it's all about new starts. Um, so if you're in your one personal year, consider this a very important year where you get to feel a bit more focused, a bit more clarity and move ahead with, uh, with solid, clear um, energy and direction.